Hey guys, it's, it's Dark Lord Jado One. Um, I'm getting ready to record some more of the Let's Play of Batman: Arkham Knight: Season of Infamy, but I just got some news that is really exciting, at least to me, and should be exciting to followers of this show. Now, I've done several videos talking about Digital Homicide, a two-person game studio that has made some of the utter worst garbage fire games on Steam. They've sued Jim Sterling, a games journalist, for it was originally ten million dollars. He posted a tweet saying they've bumped it up to fifteen million, and a day or two ago that they apparently filed a lawsuit against 100 anonymous steam users basically for organizing groups to police greenlight and basically anyone who's ever talked bad about them in forums or anyone who's been actively voting against their games on greenlight while valve has apparently finally taken notice of digital homicides various misdeeds and all of their games have been abruptly pulled from the steam store with no explanation so yeah all of Digital Homicide's games have been completely pulled down from the store. You can't buy any of them anymore. If you try and visit the store page for any of them, it just takes you to the main screen, which basically means the game has been pulled entirely. They're not just no longer for sale. They've been pulled entirely down. So unless Digital Homicide has other games under fake studio names, which has been implied to be the case, it looks like all their shit is officially gone. Now, we have no way of knowing at this point if this situation is permanent, if Digital Homicide is going to come back under a different name, or if they're going to work something out with Steam. But for the time being, Valve has basically finally put their foot down and burned their storefront to the ground. Digital Homicide can no longer sell their games on Steam unless the situation develops further. So, um... Yeah, cool. I'm in a good mood now. I'm going to play some Batman.